Harare residents have expressed dissatisfaction over the erratic supply of water in Harare. The residents say the rates charged by the Harare City Council are exorbitant and also called for the city fathers to stop complete water shutdowns as they inconvenience the generality of Harare citizens. The water is only coming on Saturday and once a week, so it's not even safe for the children because we have children and we need to wash every day. And the sewage is flow, flowing everywhere. We need them to improve on the water sanitation. The water should be available on, on a daily basis. I like the like the bills that we pay. Actually, we're paying about the thirty dollars to twenty-five in, on a monthly basis. But the water is not even uh, coming on every day. It's only coming on Saturday. So I don't know why. Why are the bills coming from? They are very exorbitant. We're only receiving water once a week. everything. <laughs> But over Shiga weekend, they actually look at the number. Weekend, they actually seem to have a touch from Saturday. My toilets, it's in a big and big. I'm not going to say, but number. I don't know which are one. I'm not going to say, but I'm going to say, but I'm going to say, but I'm going to say, Meanwhile, Warare Water Director Engineer Osei Chisango says the shutdowns are necessary to afford the time to maintain and service Morton Jeffrey Water Treatment Plant. Uh, rehabilitation. We are now looking at about 90 percent because we've completed most of the works and most of the under under commission now. I was saying by the end of the year we should have uh, arrested the full capacity of uh, motor traffic, which is the 620 million liters that we are going to This 620 for for Harare will be covering close to about 85 percent of the population. So we still have. Uh, water rationing but uh, reduced in, in a few areas but the rest of the areas they will go back to 24 7 supply going forward what we are saying is first we want to make sure that uh, we replace our pipes we minimize our losses by like improving the efficiency uh, of distribution and then after that we are then looking at long term to exploring new sources of water the best pipes that are along the way what we are doing we are doing replacements and all, we are also introducing pressure reducing valves in some of the areas where we have uh, improved the water supply to make sure that we reduce the pressures and that will then reduce your pressure. Replacing the pipes, we were running one uh, currently around Pauling and Company and Boards in Eastley uh, and Newlands. We are doing that one. We are also working around the city, small pieces that we are replacing and we are moving to, to focus where we see. Uh, we were beginning to have uh, more best lines. Over and above that, we are also replacing water meters uh, in most of these physical areas to make sure that uh, our bills they maintain a level of integrity to ensure that our customers can stand get the City of Harare Mayor, His Worship Councillor Bernard Manyenyeni reiterated that shutdowns are not out of choice but a result of need. All our shutdowns are not um, out of choice. All our shutdowns are a result of a need. We don't do a shutdown, whether it's for hours, for days, or sometimes it's gone for more than a week. We don't do them for out of choice. We are forced to do them by circumstances. It may be dealing with an emergent problem or pre preventing a, a, an anticipated problem. So the shutdowns are a necessary evil. Stations such as these are supposed to deliver potable water, which means water that's good and fit for human consumption. That's what we aim for. Where we fail, we should identify where, where, where we failed and how to rectify it. Local government, public works and national housing minister Sevia Kasukwere says he is impressed with the progress made so far at the Morton Jeffrey water treatment plant. I've been given this uh, opportunity by Social the Mayor to see the extended work that has been undertaken by the contractors that were contracted to improve water uh, treatment as well as ensuring that we improve in terms of service delivery for the residents of the city of Harare. Uh, I'm sure all of us who were part of the tour will agree with me that uh, there have been lots of good work that has been done and from the briefing we've received from the 
city in water engineer, engineer sample. Uh, it appears uh, that uh, there has been massive improvement in terms of new setups will also be added on. Uh, it can be started from this week. This is a new lens area going up. Uh, and there's quite uh, some stability in terms of water supply. But what we still want to do is to ensure that there is total availability of water all hours to our residents in the city of Harare. Well, the city of Harare uh, was supported by government to obtain this facility, the, the Chinese law, uh, which is now enhancing the water delivery as well as improving on the quality of water for our residents nationally. This again, we assist with this matter. We'll be moving around all the cities to also evaluate where we sit in terms of water supply. But uh, let me ask you that um, most of our towns are doing very well in terms of water supply. We had some teething problems in Rwanda, uh, some teething problems in terms of the cost of water uh, to our residents in Bible. But overall, there is an improvement in terms of water supply. Uh, albeit because of an improved rainfall season that we have just experienced, it has also improved our, uh, our water supply. But we still have to battle with quality so that we can rest assured that we are giving at least our citizens 100% uh, clear and uh, healthy water supply. Uh, and secondly, the rather imagine cities and towns, uh, and as we grow Harare, there is still a requirement for us to expand our uh, infrastructure. Hence, as the state, we are engaged uh, with the city of Harare and some Chinese contractors with the view of obtaining another facility so that we can replace uh, the worn and uh, call it, uh, uh, overused uh, underground pipes that uh, really should be replaced now so that as we improve from the generation part, we can be able to pump water into a system that we not easily keep it. As you've heard earlier on, we're losing about 65% of our treated water because of the high number of leaks we have. So we are trying to attend to that at the level of our area. But nationally, like I've said, we are also attending to uh, the demand for water as we grow our towns in and around the country so that from a service delivery point of view, Water is a very, very important aspect of that. Meanwhile, City of Harare Corporate Communications Manager Michael Chideme has urged Harare citizens to report cases of burst pipes and leakages as the continued loss of treated water continue to deprive many households of safe and clean water to drink. I think first, um, we are having a lot of these uh, water bursts in and around Harare. The reason is because of the increased production in Bottom Jeffrey, that's one. Two, most of our underground infrastructure is now has now overstayed its lifespan. So there's need for renewal of the underground infrastructure so that we have a stronger, robust uh, pipe network. But the but in the meantime, what do we do? If a resident comes across a water burst they need to get in touch with their district office, give an alert of the problem so that it can be attended to. The continued loss of treated water is affecting households because not all of our water is getting to the households because of the best. So the quicker or the earlier an alert is given to the district office, the, the faster the issue will be attended to. The Harare City Council has urged citizens of Harare to report leaks and best water pipes to ensure that all households access clean and safe water to drink. For these and more other videos, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.